do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students let us solve the next question question number 34 of jwali advanced physics paper 2015 friends let us solve this question question is two spheres p and q p and q are two spheres of equal radii have densities rho 1 and rho 2 so this is having density uh, rho 1 and this is having density rho 2 these spheres have density rho 1 and rho 2 The so spheres are connected by a massless string. The spheres are connected by a massless string. So first, uh, let me draw the diagram over here. Two spheres. This is having uh, density rho one and this is having density rho two. Okay, they are connected by a string and placed in liquid of uh, L one and L two. This is liquid L one and this is liquid L two. Different liquids. So this is another liquid and this is another liquid. two different liquids now these are the two different liquids put in the beaker now again it is given that the densities of uh, liquids are rho 1 and uh, sigma 1 and sigma 2 this is having uh, this liquid has the density sigma 2 and uh, this one this liquid that is in the upper side has sigma 1 okay these are the densities of liquid and viscosities are eta 1 and eta 2 its viscosity is eta 1 and its viscosity is eta 2 these are the um, parameters given for the two different liquids they float in equilibrium so first first thing is that equilibrium this condition you have to remember that they are in equilibrium okay now <coughs> the float in equilibrium with the sphere p in l1 this is uh, the sphere p and this is the sphere q p in liquid l1 p in l1 and q in l2 q in l2 liquid and the string being taut because the string is taut means there will be tension in the string if the sphere p alone is in l2 that means if you dip this sphere only in a liquid filled with l2 it has terminal velocity vp so the vp is uh, when the p p uh, solid sphere is dipped in a liquid of uh, l2 that is having a density this one sigma 2 and eta 2 eta 2 is the coefficient of viscosity of the liquid density of the liquid this is the density of the material that is sphere of which it is made up of and so in this case the terminal velocity this object will attain is vp okay and q ln if the sphere p l2 and uh, q ln in l1 that means the q1 let us draw the diagram first q this is the q sphere and it is dipped in liquid l1 L1 only L1. Then its terminal velocity. Suppose I don't know which direction it will move. I suppose take it downward, might be upward, depending the direction we will find. But the terminal velocity it attains. So for this liquid we have uh, eta one, 
sigma 1 and the density of this is rho 1. This, this is the density of the sphere and this is the density of the liquid and this is the coefficient of viscosity of this liquid L1. Here it is L2. So these are the things given and what you are supposed to find? The, then the ratio of Vp upon Vq. So you have to find the terminal velocity ratios. So let us see whether this is correct or that is correct and we have to see whether the product of these two is greater than 0 or less than 0. <coughs> so first of all we will write the expression for uh, terminal velocity. So terminal velocity is given by 2 by 9 r square g rho minus sigma divided by eta. This is the expression for uh, terminal velocity. This formula you to go. we are going to use two times. First of all, let us uh, write the value of Vp as a velocity of terminal velocity for P. P means which condition? This one. So this is in which liquid? Second liquid. These are the things. And this P is having density what? This is having density rho 1. This is having density rho 2. That is, you can see here, P is having density rho 1, not rho 2. This is, uh, Q is rho 2. So this density of this element is rho 1. Imagine a liquid of density sigma 2. Then, here, what will write? This expression will become 2 by 9. R square having same radius. You can see here, equal radius. Suppose that radius of this uh, sphere I will call it R then also this I have to call R. Radius being same. So it is R square G will remain same. Sigma 1 will be there because first object P is having density sigma rho 1 minus put in the liquid of density sigma 2 divided by eta 2 because that is in the liquid of L2. Similarly VQ can be found as 2 upon 9, nothing going to change on this. This is a row of 2, second one, put in liquid first one, so it is sigma 1 divided by eta 1. Okay, these are the two expressions. So, this is equation 1 and this is equation number 2. In the question, you are asked to find the magnitude of the ratio of the two. If I talk only of the magnitude of the ratio then also I can find but then what is Vp upon Vq Vp upon Vq if I divide these two then uh, all these terms will cancel out and what is left is uh, rho 1 minus sigma 2 divided by rho 2 minus sigma 1 and uh, eta 1 divided by eta 2. This is left. Now, <clears throat> from here, we cannot find anything. We have to go to the basic condition because uh, this is uh, in the form of uh, n1 upon n2, n1 upon n2, or n2 upon n1, or eta 1 upon eta 2 or form. That means this should cancel out or it should give a number. So we have to establish the relations between the two. So now this is suppose equation number 3 and we have to have relations between this one and this one. Either they should cancel or it cancel with minus or plus sign. This is obvious from the options. I don't know but it's obvious from the options that either it will cancel out or a reciprocal whatever it is. So to get the relations between the two, I have to go to this condition of equilibrium. When this is suspended in this condition, they are in equilibrium, you have to draw the free body diagram of those two objects. You can see here, P is here and Q is here. P1, this is uh, having mass, uh, if I draw the free body diagram, this is a connecting uh, string. So for this one, this is the tension. 
the weight will be also downward that is uh, density and uh, the volume that is mass into g and the binds force f b which is uh, volume of the sphere density of the liquid which is uh, sigma 1 into g this will balance out and for uh, this part of the this is for p and for q i'll write uh, the force formula force uh, in uh, this color red color so for q now if i draw the free body diagram for q in red then this uh, weight will be down so it is density is sigma rho 2 so rho 2 density volume g it will be downward tension in the string will be upward and buoyancy also will be upward the buoyancy force fb for this case will be the volume the density of the liquid and g now from here from this i will get the expression that because it is an equilibrium this will balance this two that will v sigma 1 g this upper force and the sum of the downward force that is t plus rho 1 v g this will balance out from here from here the these two forces t plus v sigma 2 g will balance with rho 2 v g okay now i have to eliminate this uh, t so in place of t i will substitute this minus this over here or if i put this value of t over here then what i'll get i'll get first of all uh, from this i'm getting t equals to or i can subtract these two values then also i can get the value with no problem with that but anyway i'll put t equals to v sigma 1 g minus rho 1 v g i substitute here then this will become v sigma 1 g minus rho 1 v g plus v sigma 2 g equals to rho 2 v g only substitution of this value over here okay <coughs> So, uh, by putting the values over there, then you can see that uh, this uh, VG, VG, VG is everywhere. So, this VG will cancel, this VG will cancel, this VG will cancel, this VG will cancel. What is left is sigma 1 minus rho 1 plus sigma 2 equals to rho 2. Now, if we see this one, then... Uh, rho 1 minus sigma 2 i have to keep in one side so i will bring this to the other side of the equation that will become sigma 1 minus rho 2 and this will become sigma 1 minus sorry this will become sigma 1 minus rho 1 minus sigma 2 and this will become sigma 1 minus rho 2 this will be the expression and what we want here is rho 1 minus sigma 2 rho 1 minus sigma 2 what you are getting is rho 2 minus sigma 1 here it is sigma 1 minus rho 2 that means that means that means rho 1 minus sigma 2 is sigma 1 minus rho 2 or we can write rho 1 minus sigma 2 is minus of rho 2 minus sigma 1 okay that means <coughs> that means rho 1 minus sigma 2 divided by rho 2 minus sigma 1 is minus 1 rho 1 minus sigma 2 divided by sigma 2 rho 2 minus sigma 1 equals to minus 1 so that means this expression for 
if I put this expression 4 in 3, what I will get? Vp, Vp upon Vq in vector form is minus 1 because if I substitute that, I will get minus 1 here and, and eta 1 by eta 2. That means these two products is negative. Negative indicates that these two vectors are oppositely directed. So it is oppositely directed. So Vp over Vq is negative. Vp dot product Vq is negative. This is correct. So therefore fourth option is correct. And if I take the magnitude of this Vp open Vq, if I take the mod of this, then I will write here. If I take the magnitude of this, then Vp vector upon Vq vector magnitude is minus 1 and that was eta 1 upon eta 2 magnitude. This becomes eta 1 upon eta 2. So Vp magnitude over Vq magnitude is eta 1 upon eta 2. If I see the option, then option 1 is correct. So we have got two options correct, 1 and 4. Okay, thank you.